Hi, this is Kyle Lee, Senior Construction Solution Specialist with ATG USA, and we're back for another technical talk video in our series, providing a high-level overview of the different tool sets inside of the Autodesk Build Module on the new Autodesk Construction Cloud platform. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the reports section within Autodesk Build. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and log into the ACC platform and select the appropriate build project that you'll be working in. Once we're in the build project, we'll land here on the home screen. And the first thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to select the reports section from our tabs on the left hand side of the screen. Once we jump into the reports section, we'll see that it automatically lands you on the reports log area. This is where we can see all of the different reports that have been run, uh, the, the title for the report, what type of report that's going to be, the date and time at which it was run at, who the report was created by, and we'll also see the source template that was utilized. Also, we'll see that we have a couple of icons out here to the right, notating that this report is a scheduled report that runs every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. And we also have it set to automatically email out to several different recipients on the project. But in order to get started, where we'll really need to go to is we'll need to jump into our templates tab here. So right here, you'll see in the templates area that we have several default templates that come as a part of Autodesk Build. And then we have the ability to modify those templates and create our customized reports from there. For example, today, we're going to start off and we're going to uh, utilize the issue detail report. So now we're able to come in here. And we're actually able to edit this report in order to pull out exactly what information that we're needing regarding issue details. Um, in this case, I'm going to pull out issues that are just associated with ATG USA, those that have been assigned to ATG USA or its team members. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to update the title and we're going to call this the ATG issue detail. The next thing we'll want to do after I've updated the title is I'm going to want it to determine how I filter the report itself. So in this case, I'm going to want to uh, filter the report based on whom this is assigned to. And in this case, we want to make sure that we selected ATG USA. If we have other um, areas that we'd like to filter by for the report, we can just hit this plus button right here. And we could say that we also wanted to filter by status type. And maybe we don't want all of the issues to be selected. Maybe we just want to look at those that are open, pending, or in review. We're not worried about looking at those that have been closed out already. Then we can come over here and make sure that we are sorting. Um, we can sort by our ID, um, the issue ID number, the status, title, description, start date, due date, location, location details, and then created on date or updated on date. In this case, we're going to leave this to sort by the issue ID number. <clears throat> Once we have this completed and we've got our template set up, we can save this as a new template. And now it's going to show up in our list of templates that we have here. And so whenever I refresh this, we should see our ATG issue details, which is right here. So now if we want to set this report up to send out automatic emails on a scheduled basis, we can just come to the far right and we can click the three dot ellipses here. We could tell it that we wanted to run the report from this point. We could also go in and edit the template if we need to modify that in any way. But what I wanted to show is how we can set this up to schedule the report out. So we have the ability to schedule a report out to run on a weekly or a monthly basis. And so we've got this set up to run weekly every single week, and then we can select the dates or the days of the week in which we want this to run on. So we might select Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then we can set the time at which this report will come out for us. And so maybe we want this to come out, say, at 6 a.m. before we have that, uh, so we can have that as soon as we get to the job site. We also have the ability to modify our start and end dates for um, the duration in which this report will run. And then we also have the ability to share this report via email with both project members that are already invited into our build project or with other members outside of the project. So in this case, we're going to say that I want this to be emailed out to anyone that is on the project with ATG USA 
since this is a report, an issue detail report for issues associated with ATG USA. If we had other team members that we wanted to um, be notified of this detail report, but maybe they're not a part of our build project, we could just simply type in their email address here. And then if we'd like to, we can enter in a message that will come out with the automatically generated email. And then we can just simply hit save schedule. Now, as you'll see, we have the scheduled icon that is lit up for our report. And now this report will be generated every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 6 a.m. Central Time. Once the report begins to generate, we'll see that it does start to show up on our reports log, just like my Kylie RFI detail report. So I set this uh, detail report up to run on the 18th of August, and I had it scheduled to come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so we can see that this was run on, um, let's see, that was last Friday, and then this past Monday, as well as being ready to run um, tomorrow as well. This ran yesterday also. If I look at this one on the schedule, I could just simply go back to my template, select edit schedule if I needed to change the days of the week which this came out for us. Or if we needed to remove the schedule altogether, we could click remove schedule here. And now, as you see, the scheduled icon has been removed from this particular template. If we need to run a report on the fly, we can always hit the create report. And then it will ask us to start with a template that we want to use. So we can come in here, we can filter our template as necessary, and then hit the button here and it will automatically run and generate that report and we'll get an email notification when the report is ready for download. And team, that covers our overview video for the report section within Autodesk Build. I certainly appreciate you joining me for today's video and look forward to seeing you in those that I produce in the future. Thank you for your time and have a great day.